Alright, got All right, me. guys. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I got her. Alright. Right in there. Valkyria, automated advisory, wind, calm, altimeter, three, zero, zero. If you want, you can start taxiing to one four. Alright. Discretion. Note him, Valkyria fuel farm out of service. Got it? Can you hear me? Can you put it? I can't hear you. If you want, you can try the other, other jack, okay? Oh, I can hear you now. <laughs> All right. Okay, traffic five nine kilo taxi into one four for a straight up departure of Valkyria. Just keep taxiing. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of all this stuff for you. Here, okay. All right. Winds calm. Altimeter. Let's get the altimeter real quick. That's going away. No big deal. Valkyria, automated advisory, wind, calm, altimeter, three, zero, zero, niner, for runway, listen for traffic. Three, zero, zero, niner. Acknowledge, good to go. 1200, VFR. I guess we can try to clean this windscreen, I guess, yeah. when we're in Sebastian real quick. Oh, I see what he did. Clever. Huh. Yeah, so this is connected straight to the start, uh, power source for the plane, so. Oh. But so you got ADSB. Nice. <laughs> a, this, is a, this is a Jimmy Rig. Yeah. A Jimmy Rig ADSB installation. <laughs> oh, by the way, Melissa, when you see that, don't worry. You actually have five, five gallons additional on top of whatever you're seeing in the fuel gauge. It's just a defect that this little airplane has with the fuel gauge, so. If you see both of them flashing, that means you have about 10 more gallons. So each gallon, each hour, I'm sorry, every eight gallons is about one hour of flight. So you got plenty of fuel. Okay. That's what we always uh, manually check it before we take off. <laughs> yeah, everybody, every student that I fly with with this airplane, they're like, oh my goodness, low fuel. And especially when you start banking and stuff like that, it's going to start flashing. Nobody behind us. As my oh yeah, I see him. As my other student, he's gonna do some um, some solo work here to uh, to Melbourne. But he's gonna go to Sebastian real quick, pick up some fuel, and then he's gonna uh -huh. he's gonna leave. So, all right. Let me see. Temperatures climbing a little bit. Looks good. Yep. Okay, traffic five nine kilo, holding short one four Valkyria. I'll go ahead and just do this here for you. Yep. 15. How's the temperature? Temperature climbing, right? Uh, yeah. Alright. 17, there's 18. Transmit radio check. Radio check. One, radio two. Check. Good job. Boom, boom. Alright, one to the left. Good job. Alright, alternator switch. Alright. Oh, that looks good. Alright, nothing on the insert panel. And power all the way back. Alright, Justin, we're good to go. So you're taking me to Sebastian, okay? Get some fuel. Alright. So lights, camera, action. So put that taxi lights, strobes on. And, uh. If I turn that off, that's the panel lights right there. Or turn this stuff off. Okay. Alright, so this is all turned off. Okay, squawk 1200. All right, guys, we're all ready to go. All right. Good. Okay, traffic, Cessna uh, 5.
five nine QO is uh, taking runway one four for uh, straight out departure back area. Valkyria, automated advisory, wind, com, altimeter, three, zero, zero, niner, for runway, listen for traffic. Hey, Zach, can you hear my radio transmissions? Yeah, I can hear you. Thanks. Alright, winter calm. Just climb out nice and gentle. Do about a... Uh, 50, 55 to 60, start rotating, and then uh, just climb out about 70. There you go. 70, 75. All right, temperature looks good, pressure looks good. All right, everything looks good. He's got to get some fuel. Six thirty on time. Might be flying through some clouds, so. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. On the ground, um, Justin. Okay, traffic. Uh, Cessna. I'm gonna three, have you take care of the airplane. I'm gonna take care of all the navigation here. Okay. Yeah, I gotta set all that stuff up before we take off. This little guy has autopilot too, so if you want to use it, oh, okay. you're more welcome. Right now it's disconnected. As you can see, the circuit breaker is pulled. Oh, yeah. Okay, traffic 559 key load, departure leg room 14, west bank of the river southbound to Sebastian, last call, passing 1,200 feet, walk area. Alright, that was level. It's just cruise over here between 12 and 13, uh, we can get over there pretty quick. So from my five, okay. Temperature. Uh, okay. We'll put your nose straight to Sebastian right now. Preferred calm wind runway zero five. Pilot discretion. Passing traffic, 5-9 Kilo is about 5 miles to the north, west bank to Ruger, southbound. We'll be uh, planning to make left traffic for runway 5 for a full stop. Sebastian. Yeah, pretty much, if you keep keep going right here, you're setting yourself perfectly for a 45 degree entry for a left down with a runway 5. Okay. Once we get closer, you're, you'll, you'll see the runway. Yeah, we're literally going to be flying straight that way from here. Okay. Yeah, they want us connected to a VOR there, but there's a good chance they're, they're, they're probably not going to have us do that. Okay. There's, there's probably no traffic in front of us. So they're really, yeah, yeah, let's go straight up before from here. Huh.
Roger, traffic top nine kilo, three miles to the north, setting up here for a three mile, 45 degree entry for left downwind, zero five. It'll be a full stop, Sebastian. Sebastian, automated advisory, wind, com, altimeter, three, zero, zero, eight, for runway, listen for traffic. Haven. Okay. Yeah. Alright, there's 1,000 feet. Sebastian traffic, 5.9 Kilo, Cessna 172, 2 mile, 45 degree entry for left downwind for 05, full stop, Sebastian. See it at an angle. Yeah. There you go. Sebastian traffic five nine kilo left downwind for zero five full stop. Sebastian. Second dash past the numbers. That's going to be your touchdown point? Uh, yeah. Sounds good to me, Captain. Alright, we'll do one notch of flaps. Where's your landing light, Zach? It's on now. <laughs> Alright. Turn left base here pretty soon. I should be able to see it. Yeah. Sebastian traffic, Cessna 53304 is crossing over the Blue Water Tower. Oh, he's behind us. To left downwind, runway 05, Sebastian. That's why I couldn't see him. He's directly behind us. Area of traffic, Sheriff's helicopter here too. Sebastian traffic, 59 kilo, left base for 05 it would be a full stop, Sebastian. Approach here is clear. This runway has an instrument approach, so. Yeah. At speed, everything looks pretty good. Let's remember to land on the main wheels, okay? Yep. Yeah, I think it's just the control surfaces, or the control inputs are heavier on this than. It the, is, yeah. Yeah, so I just put the same force in as I did on the. 152. Yeah. All right. Sebastian, traffic, pop Nike, Lou, turning final for only five to be a, a full stop, Sebastian. There's big old homes out here. Yeah. I right, pull the power back, no need for a slip. Go full flaps. So that's traffic, Cessna 304 is on downwind, runway 05, Sebastian. Uh, power, I'll be back, you'll be fine. Yep, 
Kurt said, like, you know what? We don't want any of that. Yeah, a little fast, okay. Nose up, nose up, nose up. I uh, gotta let it bleed off. There you go. Right there, mm -hmm. just right there, right there. Good job, all right. Nice and easy. All the way back, aerodynamic braking. Let's pull back here. Gotta get off here on this next, next taxiway. Right there, straight ahead. Just park uh, in front of it, just like we usually do. All right. Sebastian Traffic, Cessna 304, left base, runway 5, Sebastian. Sebastian Traffic, Papa 9 Kilo, clear, roll runway, Sebastian. he doing all that? He can go straight into runway 5. I don't Sebastian understand. Cessna 53304 is turning final, runway 5, Sebastian. Uh, yep. Ooh. All right. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Maya Aero Airlines. Your mic three times for an advisory four. This is not your captain speaking. This is the first officer. Captain is busy right now, taxiing uh -huh. the plane. <laughs> but don't worry. He will talk. See, look, Melissa. See all little targets? Oh, cool. All little airplanes. So eventually I'll let you borrow this so you can take a look at it. That way you got something to do back there. <laughs> Unless you're going to read. I know it's going to get a little boring because you can't do anything back there, but just listen. That's okay. It's all right. And go ahead and start loading up all this stuff here. So this here is... Yeah. yeah, this is actually five and one zero, both of them together. So hold short here. Okay. Hold short right there. Make your radio call. Just crossing runway five? Or? Yeah, cross, cross, crossing one point five. Sebastian traffic, Cessna five three five nine or kilo crossing r runway five. Sebastian. Please don't move the yoke while I'm doing this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I mean, I have some students that do that. Times for an advisory four times for radio. Every time we're crossing a runway, don't take your time. All right. So yeah. do a little bit more. Uh, just expedite it a little bit. Sebastian traffic, uh, Cessna 590 Kilo, clear all runways. Sebastian. Have this part open too. Just 
stupid little thing is a, is a little annoying. This little flight plan thing. Yeah. It doesn't put it in. It just wipes it out. Huh. Just the way it works. There you go. That's working. Just need to cross into the approach end of one zero to zero five. Back into zero five. Sebastian traffic, Cessna five nine kilo, crossing the uh, approach uh, runway one zero. Sebastian. Just hold short, do your run up, all that stuff. Alright. is one of our checkpoints. That's it, right? Just, well, you check the uh, alternator, right? Yep. Check the max, check the vacuum, and there's nothing up here flashing yep. telling you, hey, there's something wrong, then you're good to go. All right. Just light the airplane up. Just give me a minute here. I'm almost done. Landing. Taxi. Strobe. <laughs> Sorry. Almost there. Got it. one more. After this. These are all of our checkpoints of our route, so just in case they say, hey, you can go direct jackal, or you can go direct uh, berth, or whatever, we're ready to go. All you do is press the button, boop, 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 and boom, and the plane flies all by itself. Oh, nice. MYGF. Wow, bunch of stuff on this thing. All right, think we're all set, Captain. Let me just double check all this, make sure we're all good to go. Flight plane is X-26, there's stretch rear war. Then we're gonna take 3R-62 Victor. That's pretty much this entire long route right there. So we got Angie, Angie's in there, Fornell's in there, Surfing is in there. There's Surfing. Yeah. You see it skips a couple, that's why. Yeah. Surfing, and you got Berth, and then we got Jackal. Jackal's in there, and then we got uh, the airport, MYGF. All right, looks good to me, Captain. All right. So, everything looks good here. Gonna go ahead and take off, and then you're pretty much gonna take off straight out. 
to the shoreline. Okay. We're going to keep on climbing, and then I want you to turn to the west. He has to buy some time so we can uh, actually... Uh, Get some altitude. Altitude, yeah, exactly. So, 3009, all right, good to go. We're taking off for runway 5. Good job, you did this? Yeah. All right, good deal. All right. Let me just roll back here a little bit, and we're going to take off with one notch of flap, all right, just to help us get off, get along quicker. Uh, Cessna 53304 is holding short runway 523. Sebastian. Sebastian traffic, 59 kilo, holding short runway 5 for a strap departure. You can go ahead, Zach, if you want. Thank you. Uh, Cessna 53304 is crossing runway 523. Sebastian. All right, we took off at about 07. 0705, and then we start the end just about, uh, what do you say, six minutes ago? Uh, yeah. 0659er. All right, so hold short here, please. We got your strobes on, landing line, line takeoff. 53304 is clear ball runways. Yeah, 45 gallons. All right. Sorry. Sebastian, oh. automated advisory. Wind oh, there is. Altimeter 300. Niner, for runway, listen for traffic. Okay, you can go ahead and take off straight up when you're like. Alright. Sebastian traffic, Cessna 59 Kilo, taking runway uh, 5 for a uh, straight out departure. Sebastian. Anybody? Three six two five. Okay, got it. Yep, going three six two. Looking good. Twelve hundred VFR. Lights, camera, action. Put the mixture in. Good to go. All right, Captain. Everything looks good. All right. There's our buddy. Sebastian yeah. traffic says now three zero four is crossing runway one zero two eight. Sebastian. Run, bird. Got airspeed. Oil pressure. Nice and easy, just bring her off the ground. There you go. There you go. A little bit of flap there, uh, just to help you get off the quicker. Runway, yeah. There you go. Just pitch down for about 70. There you Let it pick up some more altitude here, right? Yeah. You, just, you just keep the flaps in there, going about 70. It's yeah. Just to help you, just uh, climb a little bit faster because you're we're at, we're pretty much almost at almost at max weight, but it's not unsafe though. Yeah. down a little bit faster, do about 75 to 80. Just trim the plane out. Maintain that heading on the bug, please. Uh -huh. Okay, everything looks good. Temperature and pressure looks good, all right. All right, pitch for about 80 knots, please. And then I'm gonna retract the flaps, all right? All right. Traffic Cessna, if you want, you can do it. Just uh, when you get to 80 first. Runway 5, departure to the north. Okay. Uh, Sebastian. Sebastian traffic, 59 kilos. It's straight out to Budge, runway 5. We're going to go to the shoreline here, and they're going to make a left turn to the west and keep our climb. We're aiming for about 1,000 feet to 1,100 feet to get to the shoreline, then uh, westbound. We'll look out for you, Zach. There you go. Give a nice little climb like that.
Alright, here we go. So just right. turn, uh, just keep climbing to 2,500 feet, okay? Home Beach Altimeter is 3008. Alright, turn left to the west, please. We put the heading bug here to the west. He should be flying us underneath us. Uh, I got him. Just about midpoint of runway five. I see him. All right. There we go. Fashion traffic five nine kilo currently at nineteen hundred feet on the uh, east bank of the river. Uh, westbound will be our last call. See you, Zach. Have fun. See you guys. All right, 2,500 feet, please, okay? Yep. On the west heading, I'm gonna give him a call here for sure, shortly. Down on him like this looks like he's just above the treetops, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, should be able to see him down there. There he's coming. Yeah. All right, there's 2.5. Level off at 2.5 in the west heading. There he is. All right, ready to go. But maintain that altitude. Maintain that heading, please. While I talk to them. Good morning, Paul Beach Approach. This is the number this is Skyhawk number five three five nine or Kilo. Uh, 270 heading, 2500 ready to pick up IFR clearance to Grand Bahama International. 5359 or Kilo, Palm Beach, approach squawk 4512. All right, squawk 4512 for the number 5359 or Kilo. Three five nine or kill your radar contact three miles north of Sebastian Palm Beach altimeter three zero zero eight stay altitude. All right, altimeter three zero zero eight, and currently we're sitting at two thousand six hundred, but coming down twenty five. Three five nine or kilo Roger, you're clear to Mike Yankee Golf Foxcut Airport via radar vectors. Treasure then is filed. Climb and maintain five thousand, and turn left a left turn, heading of a one two zero. All right, right up, clear, clear to uh, Mike Yankee Golf Box Trot. Right up back to the treasure that has filed. Climb, maintain 5,000 feet. Make a left turn to 120. Number 5359 kilo. 5-9 or kilo. Read back to string. You expect 9 or 1,000 within one 10 minutes of departure. All right, we'll expect 9,000 uh, 10 minutes after departure. To number 5359 kilo. All right, full power, 5,000 feet. 120 heading, please. Niner to the fly heading 160. We'll get you turned into the east in about uh, once you're south of Fort Pierce. All right, 160 and the 120 south of Fort Pierce. We'll expect that east uh, heading number 5359 kilo. Palm Beach, Bonanza 304 Victor, uh, Ferro Beach, leaving 1,000 for 2,000. Bonanza 304 Victor, Palm Beach, departure, radar contact, and maintain 2,000. Uh, stay at 2, Ford Victor. Alright, this is going to be really annoying, I'm just letting you know right now. Yeah. Right? There's going to be a loud beep, Melissa, right? That's just the autopilot doing a self-check, so don't worry. That's why I shut it off, like it's really annoying, it's really high-pitched uh, sound. 
Yeah, it's pitch trim. That's fine. I just wanted to self-test, that's all. Oh. Uh, Three zero four eight Victor, turn left heading three five zero. Turn three five zero for Victor. Victor, climb maintain 3,000. Go to 3,000 for you, Victor. For you, Victor, turn left heading 290. You can expect on course with Miami Center. Okay, left turn to 290 for you, Victor. Earlier, the reason why he was questioning us about our altitude is because we were supposed to be at 25. Yeah. But we climbed up because I told him 25. Yeah. And when he saw that we're at 26, he wanted to verify, make sure, because we always check in with altitude just to make sure that they're seeing the exact same thing we're seeing. Yeah, yeah. That's basically why we're doing it. And this is probably the most important thing of the flight, right there. Yeah. If we don't have that, we're going to have some F-16 fighters just intercepting us. Yeah. I don't know about the way out, but the way in, definitely. Yeah. Turn 5 niner kilo, turn left heading 140. 140 for 5-3, 5-9 kilo. For 4 8 0 6 2, 8, traffic, 12 o'clock, 7 miles, turning southeast, bounds of Skyhawk, 4,500, coming to 5,000. As there, 6 2, 8, we'll be looking. What altitude were they at? It wasn't showing in here, so it looks like whoever it is, they don't have an ADSB. Oh, there it is, 6 Juliet. They're 100 below us, 200 below us right now. Oh, wow. They should be over here somewhere. <coughs> Zero 06 Juliet has the traffic. Zero 06 Juliet, roger, thanks. All right, I got 200 to go. He's about two miles away. Somewhere out there. Uh. All right, 100 to go. Level up at 5,000. Do not go above 5,000. There's a traffic, he's no factor. Oop. Traffic down there too. Six zero heading. Or is it one four zero? Sorry, one four zero heading. Yeah. All right, five thousand feet. You're climbing a little bit there. Put some trim in there. Northeast zero four eight Victor. Traffic twelve eleven o'clock. Five miles northeast from three thousand one hundred. Indicated climb maintain five thousand. Out of three for five and uh, sign heading two nine zero. Right there.
for zero. Nope. Five three five nine on kilo for Cedar X report. Uh, five nine kilo, can you uh, say again that instruction? Number five three five nine on kilo for Cedar X report. Oh, direct report. Sorry, five three five nine kilo. Sorry. I can understand what he was saying. One five one. Yeah. Lima is off zero beach. Heading zero eight zero, climbing to two. 151 Bravo Lima, Palm Beach departure, I did maintain 4,000. Direct. I did clear to 4,001 Bravo Lima. So this is your employee Victor, traffic no factor, contact the Miami Center, 132.25. Good morning. 225, thanks a lot, 4 Victor. 1 Bravo Lima, your radar, contact 3 northeast of the Rio Beach Airport, turn left heading 360. Left 360, climb to 4, 1 Bravo Lima. All right, check it out. I put the autopilot on, see if it works. Okay. Let's see if it's working out. Put this heading for 151 Bravo Lima, turn left heading 270. Freeport. Five three five nine kilo. Turn left heading one two zero. Send a request. Contact them now on one three two point two five. Uh, left one two zero. Go on to center one thirty two point two five. Five nine kilo. All right, one two zero in the heading. Four eight zero six two. Contact Orlando approach one three two point. I'm sorry, it's one one hundred point four nineteen four. Let me say good morning. This is number five three five nine kilo. Uh, assigned heading at one two zero at five thousand feet. Checking in. November five three five nine kilo. Let me send a call and maintain nine or thousand. The very beach altimeter three zero zero eight. Three zero zero eight and altimeter and climb maintain nine thousand five three five nine kilo. November five nine kilo. Set a moment to reading advice. Ready to copy. All right, 5359 five, Kilo is ready to copy. Air 5359 five, Kilo, clear direct Jekyll intersection at Juliet, Alpha, Kilo, Echo, Lima. Join Bahama Route 6 to Victor to Freeport. All right, direct Jekyll, and then join the Bravo Romeo 6 to Victor, and then the direct Freeport, 5359 five, Kilo. In November 59 Kilo, as you make your turn, there will be an area of moderate precipitation at your 1 o'clock and 3 zero miles. That area is 5 miles in diameter. Additional area of moderate to heavy precipitation at your 1 o'clock, 4 or 5 miles. That area is 5 miles in diameter. Thank you so much, Senator. This is number 5359 Kilo. All right, here we go. Nav arm, there we go, up to the 9,000 feet. Yeah, good morning, Miami uh, RV 151 Bravo Lehman with the heading 290, climbing to 5,000. This is supposed to be fine. Bravo, yep, it should be climbing by itself and turning by itself. Alright, felt like guys fighting it. Yeah, 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 don't fight it. One Bravo Lehman. Delta 196, contact Miami Center, 132.15. Alright guys, we're heading over. Yep. M8110, contact Orlando, approach 124.8. 
pretty, this is pretty much what she did. We're going direct to Jekyll. Okay, right here. One two four point eight. Thank you. All I'm doing is I'm watching that do a little light yeah. tap, all right? Lean, trying to lean it out. Yeah. November 151, Bravo Lima, clear direct Melbourne. Direct Melbourne, uh, one Bravo Lima. Climb a little bit too uh, less uh, less aggressive. Yeah, we're getting higher, so. The entire Arc 191 or Avon High Complex is cold this morning. Okay, I understand it is cold. Thank you very much. No problem. And is it going to be cold most of the day? Do you have a time when it's going to get hot? Stand by, let me check. You should be doing your due diligence, buddy. This little guy, so yeah, we gotta help it out. Oh, uh, I know it's a, always on the right, and the ball's always to the right. Yeah. All right, passing 65. 25 to go. about the Avon High Complex. Uh, my supervisor said it should be going hot at 1,500. 1,500, thank you very much. No problem. Maneuvering speed is 105, all right? So when it starts to get a little bumpy, we gotta slow the airplane up <coughs> to 105. That's okay. uh, max gross weight, so that's pretty much where we are. Yeah. November 151 Bravo Lima, climb and maintain 9,000 for the final. 9,000, uh, 1 Bravo Lima. It's Fort Pierce right there, that's what we're going to be coming back to, that airport right over there. Yeah. On Sunday. Three zero four eight Victor, contact Orlando approach one two four point eight. Twenty four eight point Victor, thanks. This is a uh, four flight. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd get the smaller iPad. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think? I like that one because it's bigger. Yeah, that's just my preference. Some people like the minis, so yeah.
this thing on, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, with it all the way in the back, you can see everything inside fine, but the windows are all just white. Uh, yeah. Because of the glare, the sun? Yeah. Like They're just... You know, if I could stick it at one of the November pads there. Contact Orlando over one two four point eight. One two four point eight. One double eight. Nova five three five nine zero kilo. Contact Miami Center one three two point one five. All right, going at thirty two one five five nine kilo. Delay, you got a thousand to go. Yeah. We need to pitch down, get down to 70 knots. Yeah. Let it creep up. So these are the uh, IFR one, trucks. One, one second. Oh. Miami Thrush, 5359 Kilo, passing 8,100 feet up to 9,000, direct Jekyll. Skyhawk 535 Manor Kilo, Pressure looks good, temperature looks good. And yeah, when you get high like this and these are plans this you know, it gets thinner up here. Yeah. Trim in motion. I know. Envoy 3654, contact bomb approach. One two four point eight five. Twenty four eighty five, envoy thirty six fifty four. So the 196, when able to direct to Hiley. When able to direct to Hiley, I think we can do that now for Delta 196, going to Hiley. Florida, Miami, American 782, 6,000, climbing 1, 2,000. American 782, climbing center, climbing normally level 2, 3, 0. Yeah. So the, uh, does the transponder use this altitude? Or does it have its own altimeter in it? It's it this actually reports as an own encoder in there. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't get the altimeter from this. Okay. So these are the IFR charts, right? Yeah. Yeah. Delta one ninety six is gonna maintain one three thousand. One three thousand built to one ninety six. Yeah, once we get to nine thousand feet we should be able to just slingshot right over. Yeah. But it's taking forever. Yeah, turn five three five nine a kilo. Modest to heavy precipitation. One o'clock, one seven miles, three miles in diameter. Five three five nine kilo fix. Delta one ninety six contact. Mommy approach one two four point eight five. One two four point eight five. Delta one ninety six on. Six. Yeah, it's showing right there. Oh uh, yeah. Layer of smoke out here, it looks like. It does, right? Center warning Delta 
Yeah, legally they're supposed to let us know about precipitation in any area. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's some, uh, obviously they learn from other people's mistakes, so. Yeah. They failed to tell one guy about it, and uh, he flew right into a thunderstorm huh. that was developing, like, pretty badly. Yeah. And that was the end of that. Huh. There you go, reach 9,000 feet, just start to accelerate here. Ground speed 104. Yeah, right there. Oh, uh, yeah. A whole bunch of boats out there heading the same way, it looks like it. Yeah. All right, everything looks good. Nav out. Clean the mixture just a little bit there, but it looks like it's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Alright, vac looks good, amps look good, there's nothing flashing up here. We're direct Jekyll too, we can confirm that here as well. Yeah. I don't know what that block is, but obviously we don't see anything major ahead of us, just this little buildup right there, and there's another buildup right after it, so we might get some turbulence after this little guy right there coming up, so we stand yeah. by for that. So as long as we're underneath uh, or close to 105, we should be good to go. That's where we're at right now, actually. Yeah. It has to be that, don't use this. Yeah, right? yeah. Alpha 4398, when able to direct J-LOP, descend to maintain 17,000, Palm Beach Altimeter, 300, zero, zero, Direct J-LOP and down to 17,000, Southwest 4398. Forget about it, I'll just get the POH from back here. American 782, contact Palm Beach Center 133.4. 33.4, American 782. Oh, thanks. Power setting should be roughly where it's at right now for this altitude for this plant. Yeah. But let me just double check it with this little guy. I gotta make that request next control. Say hey, bye. Alright. So twenty three ninety five got back mommy center one three three point four, they have your request. Thirty three four delta twenty uh twenty three ninety five, good day. Southwest 4398, small areas, moderate to heavy precipitation, 11 o'clock, and two zero miles. They're about two miles in diameter. 
And so between 25 and 26, you should be, uh, it's above standard, so. You're looking kind of about a 109 indicated. Where's the, uh, the temperature gauge for this little guy? Uh -huh. I think I've seen it before. Yeah, this could be it right here. Oh. 55. Celsius. Beautiful, huh? Everything looks good. Temperature and pressure looks good. Yeah. Just cruising. Yeah. I would say so. Yeah. yeah. About less than 2,000, I would say. That's pretty neat to see the cloud forming, actually, like that. that yeah. Fast. Yeah. Oh. If you stare, what's up? I was saying, we're good to fly straight through this one ahead of us. Yeah. Even though it does look kind of like an anvil. No, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, this thing is still in its early stages. Yeah, I haven't got to the weather part yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's still in the early stages, so you'll be fine. You can yeah. fly through all this stuff all day, no problem, this thing. But yeah. when, it's a, when it's a massive, you, you pretty much are going to be basing it off the signatures. That's what you're going to be basing it off. Yeah. So once it starts getting uh, orangey and yellow, that's when you got to really go around the thing. Don't even bother going through it. Yeah. Oh, uh, rainbow. So yeah, don't even bother. Oh, yeah. It gets really turbulent really fast, and it sucks. Yeah. You get tossed around, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Yeah, my mom's working on her instrument rating now, and yeah. she's talking about how when she first started flying, she was always hoping for clear skies, and now all she wants is cloudy ones. Yeah, yeah, that's how it is. Yeah. You want to fly when it's soupy. Yeah. This is the Benny, you know, the, one of the Bennies, one of the benefits of actually flying IFR because you, you, you literally just draw a straight line. Yeah. You can fly through the clouds, no problem. You don't have to adjust your altitude, you know, for, for uh, clouds. Oh, yeah. Southbound, 170. So could we glide this shore from here? Or? No. No? No, we're pretty much in no man's land right now. Yeah. Your best bet is to look for a boat. Yeah. So, 2071, company traffic. Yeah, so here's your best bet. And then just cop the doors open. And yep. uh, land uh, tail, tail low. Yeah. Over. I'm sorry, south, 2871. 
I was calling traffic, but I was going to try to climb it. I'll just climb in a minute. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, we're looking for him actually right now. Alpha 4398, cross Mosey at 8000. Cross Mosey at 8000, Alpha 4398. Alpha 2871, climb maintain flight level 230. Climb maintain flight level 230, Southwest uh, 2871. This is all we do. Yep. So you say you're going to start flying that Pilatus? Yeah. When, when do you start that? Oh, that's not going to be till uh, it's going to be in November. That's when I start training for it. Okay. Yeah, it's like a five-week-long course. It's, it's flying the Pilatus to train for it is actually less than that. It's just that they put you through an actual uh, ground school through the flight school. Uh, the actual company. Okay. Just so they can weed out the people that don't, they really don't want to be there. I see. That's basically what they do, but right now they're they're looking for so many pilots that they don't make it as hard. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that they're uh, underqualified, you know. Yeah. Because you go through everything. You got to learn everything you need to learn. You're going to be flying. I met a pilot the other day from the same company. He's flying at the Dulles Airport. You know, he flies at the Boston Logan. He's always flying to these big airports, like busy airports. Yeah. And it's that plane, you can actually do an approach about 80 knots on it. Really? Yeah. yeah it's really slow, but you can fly all the way up to 30, 24,000 feet. Yeah. Yeah, you go from uh, 180 to, I'll go to 180 to 1,200 horsepower. Oh. Yeah. I think it's called sh uh, shaft horsepower. It's SHP. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty much a jet engine. It's just uh, has a turbo, has a prop attached to it. Yeah. And the way the exhaust and the, the intake, all that stuff works mechanically. It's a little different than a jet engine, but yeah. overall, it's really similar. Yeah. Delta 4398, contact. So is it the? One, two, six point zero five. Is it a turbo shaft or turbo prop? Or do you know? 4398, then. As far as I know, it's a turbo prop. Three, three point okay. four. Turbine prop. Three, three, four. Turbo prop. Southwest, uh, yeah, I know I'm going to learn more about it when I get there. Yeah. I know the, the uh, Hyper Meridian, the prop's not directly connected to the engine. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a... Uh, I think it is. I think uh, I, I got to double check that. Yeah. See exactly how the Pilatus engine is. It's a, it's a PT uh, PT six, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's the engine. Is it turbo shaft? Yeah. No, turbo prop. Turbo prop. Yeah. So the the propeller will spin and the engine won't. I see. So they just put a turbine behind the engine that's connected to the propeller maybe gearbox. So the engine blows exhaust across that. I that, see. Yeah. Yeah, that's the engine that's in it. It's a Canadian one. Yeah. Canadi I think it's Canadian Pratt and Whitney, I believe. Yeah. All right, looks pretty good ahead. Yeah. What's showing in a precip? It looks like a Jekyll. There's some uh, some precipitation over there, so. Yeah. Or IFR, so it should be good to go. Yeah. Looking good. Vacuum looks good. T's and P's look good. Yeah, I double checked the uh, the fuel consumption, and for this altitude, it's RPM, and it's pretty accurate. Yeah. I bring it back just a little bit here. That cloud dissipated. Pretty much at uh, 105, so at 110 right now. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, one of my favorite parts is actually arriving to the Bahamas because oh, yeah. the water is so beautiful. Yeah. Good morning, Miami. I'm Eric Kim, 1437. Uh, checking in, flight level 380 to cross board, added maintain to 40. Eric, 1437, I'm sorry. I looked into flying it right to uh, West End. It's a three hundred dollar landing fee. Oh, yeah, they don't want you there. <laughs> yeah, no. Or a jet. They only want jets in there. Yeah. American Airlines Flight Level Three Eight Zero Two Cross Board Altitude Maintain Two Four Zero. Yeah, American Writing these things down that way I know which approach frequency I need to contact okay. on the way out because when we take off we gotta climb out to almost 6,000 feet before we contact uh, Miami so we can pick up our airport clearance. Uh, okay. So that's basically what we're gonna do. So we're gonna just uh, I take off and just kind of like keep doing circuits like oh, uh, yeah. pretty close to the island and just keep on climbing and then uh, Pretty much pick up the IFR clearance at 6,000 feet and then go from there. Flight level 360 to cross father, flight level 240. Devlu is yes, remember the approach speed for this airplane is 65 knots. Okay. So if you're not crossing a threshold about 70 to 65, you're gonna land really far away. Yeah. So as soon as you turn final, set the airplane up for 65 when it's calm winds. Yeah. I'm not expecting any wind, any winds today, but this place is known for that because, well, not this airport, like Bahamas is because of the storms. Yeah. So when the storm starts, start, uh, you know, blowing all the, all the wind around and stuff like that, next thing you know, you get like wind gusts, and it's because it's coming from the storms. Yeah. So this doesn't show you the uh, distance to to the next checkpoint, does it? miles away. Okay. Yeah, so right now it's following whatever I told him to do. So ATC tells us to go direct to Jekyll right there at that point. So that's yeah. what I did. So there it is right there. So he has a little purple with an arrow, white arrow in it. In it. Yep. Just letting you know you're on that leg. Got so it. That's your magnetic heading from here. It is 133. 80 nautical miles away from this point to here. And uh, you got 32 nautical miles remaining. Okay, yeah, uh, we're almost uh, almost halfway there. Yeah. All right, so there's another cool feature here if you want to use it is this one. Oh, the synthetic vision. Yeah. I nice. see that. Do this too. Shows you your current GPS altitude. Okay. Your ADSB accuracy. All right, because we got WASP. That's see a little cable. See that little device right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it makes it more accurate. Got it. We don't really need it, but... In the center, southwest 2702, final 30, we're going to cross father at final 240. Uh, so no, not downloaded, so I forgot to download that, but no big deal. But you see, you can use this too as well, the reference. You can see there's like uh, some landfall coming up. Miami, 1567, checking in 360, and we have Ford at 240. And on top here, it shows you the distance to Jekyll. Yeah. And uh, estimated time, 15 minutes, 16, 16 minutes. minutes to get there, yeah. And then down here too, it kind of shows pretty much the same information. Oh, nice. But yeah, play with it. Just don't don't uh, delete the flight plan. Yeah. Even though we have it here, but I can quickly do it.
If you want to remove the synthetic vision there, just kind of go on top here. So you can uh, take, take away that, see? Do that. Okay. There you go. So, yeah, just play with it. There's a, there's a profile view, too, here. So if you go all the way over here, there you go. It kind of shows you all the obstacles along, along your route. Oh, okay. There's us over there. Yeah. Looks like 40 miles to the to the shore. Which shore? Uh, to West End. West End? Yeah, it looks like it's shown right there, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't know where West End is. No, oh, that's the westernmost part. Oh, I see. I, I see, see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah, Jaco. Jaco was pretty much right there, right? Yeah, that just checkpoint. Yeah, a little west of it. Alright, nothing flashing, everything is in the green still. Yeah, you just make it you just make it a habit of just uh, checking on it every five minutes, roughly. Yeah. Do you know where the blue... I got it right here, thanks. Did you fill this out already? I did not. Alright, no big deal. It should be accurate, so... Yeah. J.D. Smith. Five three five nine kilo contact mobile center one three three point four. Thirty three point four five nine kilo. See ya. Miami Center. Good morning. November five three five nine kilo. Direct Jekyll. Checking in nine thousand feet. November five three five nine kilo. Miami Center. Roger. Clear to Jekyll intersection. Jekyll is your clearance limit. Total eight expected. Report altimeter three zero zero eight. Five three zero zero eight. Clear to Jekyll. Uh, five nine kilo. delays expected so that's good that means that um, it should be clear coming in it should be VFR coming in oh great yeah because if it's soupy there's too much weather in there they can't allow any traffic coming in uh, uh, IFR because there's no instrument uh, no published instrument approaches yeah is that because it's not uh, FAA or what because it you know because it's a different government or yeah well there's a uh, there's an international standards to pretty much everything, right? Yeah. So the same thing applies when you're actually flying uh, when you're flying to different countries. Everybody everybody is on the same page, so that's where the ICAO comes in. So the ICAO actually uh, puts everybody on the same standard. So when you're it, it, this place does have an instrument approach. Yeah. But nobody really uses it because it's not uh, for some reason that nobody wants to use it. Huh. Uh, but it does have it because sometimes the thing is that when you don't have people who are qualified to monitor like the localizer and the VOR and stuff like that, you don't have people constantly updating those things, those items, it's dangerous. Yeah. Because it could be, it, it's not fine-tuned to yeah, yeah. give the right, right information. So you don't want to be coming in at a 747 and next thing you know, yeah. you know, this, the guys over there in the Bahamas, you know, they're not really fine-tuning. And that's, that's just the Bahamas. That's just everywhere, too. Don't get me wrong. Nothing yeah. against them. There's other airports out here that they don't do really, uh, they do an okay job, you know, in fine-tuning their radios. Yeah. But, um, that's why they're switching. They're kind of switching everything to GPS now. That's the next gen yeah, uh, yeah. flight system. So everything's going to turn into GPS pretty much. So you're going to be flying into these airports with a WAS, yeah. shooting, a, shooting an ILS look a look alike, almost a two to three to four hundred feet just above the touchdown. Okay. But there is some airports right now. They're actually implementing uh, some really extreme. Uh, Extremely accurate uh, uh, GPS landing systems. Really? Yeah, I think Newark is one of them. Huh. It's just because these airplanes, these big boys, they have like two or three 
uh, GPS systems in it, so if one fails, they got another one. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so everything's looking over here. Uh, we're good. A little higher here for Miami. Static of only Watermaker 655, 9.5, 11,000, 110. Watermaker 655, Miami 7, Roger. Foot drive, Bama, free foot altimeter, 3008. Bama, Watermaker 655. There's West End, I think. Got it? See it? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. So when we start descending here, pretty much all you got to do is just uh, circle this down, yeah. select whatever altitude, and then control the power. That's okay. it. That way you can, uh, you know, over you don't overspeed it. Miami Center, Aztec 976, altitude 1205000. This controls the volume for the intercom, by the way. Okay. This controls the volume for the intercom. Yeah, okay. Uh, approach just put you on a 120 heading. 20 heading, joint bomber is 63 Victor, 976 Alpha Zulu. Attack 976 Alpha Zulu, Roger. Once established on uh, bomber 63 Victor, clear to Halby intersection. Halby is your clearance limit, but delay expected. 976 Alpha Zulu, joint bomber is 63 Victor to Halby, 976 Alpha Zulu will report. Let me see something here real quick. Yeah. American 2493, contact Miami Center, 134.35. 2492, valid until 13000. For the Crestview Cross City, St. Petersburg areas, more information available at Hiwa Flight Service. Three. Very cool, let's me know ahead of time to get to pick up the AWAS. Okay. You see it has a, the reason why I'm picking up the the iPad is that you see the white triangles? Yeah. And you see a black triangle? Uh-huh. That means that it's a mandatory reporting point. Okay. That means when I get on top of that, I gotta give them a call, let them know that I'm uh, over Jekyll. Got it. Because they can't see Jekyll on their radar. Ah. Uh. Delta 2151, contact Miami, Delta 2151, before you go, there you have moderate to heavy precipitation, 11 o'clock, 15 miles, there is one zero miles in diameter. Contact Miami Center, 134.35. Okay, 3435, we'll look at the weather, uh, Delta 2151, we'll see you. Delta 2185, area of moderate to heavy precipitation, 11 o'clock, two zero miles, there is one zero miles in diameter. And uh, do you have a top report on that? Yeah, we're above all that, except there's one over at our uh, 1 o'clock that's probably uh, 35,000, but uh, everything to the to the uh, west is below us, probably tops of 25. That's a 2185, Roger. In that, air, uh, that area of precipitation, I am depicting area of moderate to heavy precipitation, 1 o'clock, 50 miles. Is that the uh, area you're referring to, the 35? Oof, that was loud. Yeah. No, that's at our 1 o'clock. What are these lines? Is that a 10 and really 20 mile or uh, the circles, I mean? Oh, circles, yeah. I might have. I meant, I meant 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock no, I should miles. say. Yeah, that, that's there. But the range, um, yeah, it's probably uh, range is 80 nautical miles, so all this outside range is probably 80. Uh, uh, okay. That's looks like about halfway. Yeah, 40. 3435, that was 2185. November 5359 or Kilo cross J. Colette maintain 7,000. All right, cross Jekyll at 7,000, maintain 7,000, 5359 kilo. This is where we're going to dial this down. Watermaker 655, yes. contact Miami Center, 135.6. 135.6, good day, Watermaker 655. Yeah.
He's doing tower and approach. Oh. Okay. Good for you. That goes good right here. Three miles ago. Confirm we're going to be over Jekyll here pretty soon too. Yep. Team Romeo exit left at Echo Taxi Domestic via Hotel. Five three five nine kilo checking in over Jekyll at six thousand feet. Five three five nine kilo descend and maintain five thousand. Seventeen five thousand five three five nine kilo. All right, so we're gonna go direct to. We'll go down to five thousand feet. Please do not do not go below or above it. All right, just down to five thousand. That's the West End Airport. I see what you're saying. Right yeah. Here. That's it right down there. Yeah. Yeah, that's a $300 to land there. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Yeah. It's a private airport, though. Oh, that's probably why, then. Yeah. I was reading, I think the $100 landing fee is waived at this airport because we're a single engine. Oh, really? Yeah. Good to know. All right, you got 500 to go. Your direct MGF, MYGF. Five, three, correction, 976 Alpha Zulu, say distance. 25.6, 976 Alpha Zulu. 976 Alpha Zulu, descend and maintain 2,000, report Freeport in sight, also report leaving 4 and 3,000. Report leaving 4 and 3,000 and the airport in sight, 976 Alpha Zulu. Give you a pyre up. There's a uh, water spout just to our uh, north position right now. As a full cell. Roger, pyre up. All right. There's 200 to go. Less than that. Fire three five nine kilo water spout reported. Should be off your right side. Okay, five three five nine kilo. Roger. We'll level at five thousand. Roger. Here, currently number two, traffic is a twin piper inbound from the west at 24 miles, descending at a 4,000 off your right side, report traffic in sight. All right, number two, we'll report that traffic in sight, 535 meter kilo. You said two o'clock, right? Not so. Oh, I got him right here, see him? No. Almost right off our wing. Yeah. He's really far away. Yeah. What's the re uh, the ring around us? Three miles? Three miles, yeah. So he's oh. uh, six, looks like nine miles away. Yeah. He's far away. So maintain 5,000 feet. Put the power in there. All right, there it is.
should be a little faster, so he should be ahead of us here pretty soon. Yeah. He's not on a specific route, he's VFR, so. His call sign is November 976 Alpha Zulu. All right, 5,000 feet, Justin. Nope. Push down. Out of all places, this is the most most strict place to do that because if yeah. he doesn't have radar. Yeah. Traffic system, no, that's not us. Where is he at? It's showing he's in this direction, right? Maybe he might be behind this cloud here. So I'm looking out for him. What altitude? The same altitude? Or? Showing he's 2,100 feet below us. Somewhere over here, just so long. He should be just on top the coastline right here of this little island. That's what it's showing here. But yeah, I think it's just too hazy. Yeah, let me just see if I can get a aerial map here so I can see where I'm going. Do an aeronautical map. Get this low IFR low here. All right, you gotta go direct, all right? Yeah. You're not going direct. They want you to do that heading right there. You're turning that way for some reason. Yeah. You're coming down 2,000 feet direct to the airport. I think near the airport in sight right over there. I think I see yeah, it. Yeah, I think that's it.
2,500 feet. 340 approach, Aztec 976, Alpha Zulu, 5 mile left, 8. 976, Alpha Zulu, runway 6, clear to land, wind calm. Runway 6, clear to land, 976, Alpha Zulu, is the tower closed? No, that's me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, that's 200 feet. Fox Lima Romeo, taxi runway 6, only point alpha, wind light and variable, altimeter 3009. 2,000 feet, level off, blow through it, full power, add some power in there, there you go. Five-nine kilo, level at 2,000, have the uh, airport in sight. Five-nine kilo, cleared visual approach, runway 6, center left base. Proceeding traffic, no factor, turning short final. All right, to left base, runway 6, and uh, five-three-five-nine kilo. So pretty much point your nose straight to it, okay? Yeah. Stay here at 2,000 feet till we get closer here. Yep. Uh, Chopper pattern altitude. Chopper the sky 451, taxi 6, holding point alpha. Wind calm, altimeter 3009. Two hours 45. Hour 45, Roger. Thank you. Tower 18.5 at alpha. Lima Romeo, runway 6, line up and wait. A long runway. Yeah, 11,000 feet or something like that. Yeah. Line 76 Alpha Zulu X is right at Bravo, taxi parking and customs at General Aviation. Right on Bravo and over to customs, 976 Alpha Zulu, thanks. Alright, everything is on, strobes, taxi, landing light, beacon, yep. everything is on. Ready for landing, 2,000 feet please. Kilo, five mile left base from my six. Five three five nine kilo Roger. Wind one fifty at five, runway six clear to land. From my six clear to land, number five three five nine kilo. Charlie six four three way. Romeo turn right on course, runway six clear for takeoff. Alright, where do we start our descent? Tropical sky four now. five one traffic departing ahead, feet. right turn, right bow in the parking One thousand feet. Bomb, maintain descent. visual separation. Turn right on course, runway six, cleared for takeoff. We got landing clearance. Report, uh, good morning, bomb is 319er, 11800, cross loud 7000, is turning 16 south east south. Bomb is 319, good morning, Freeport weather, wind 150 at 5, visibility 10. Cloud scattered 1400, scattered 1600, temperature 29, 2.26, altimeter 3009. Expect runway 6, visual approach. Cleared Freeport Airport, present position, direct loud, direct Freeport. Maintain 7000, report crossing loud. That's a lot of information. Weather, yeah. Freeport direct loud, direct Freeport, and for visual 6, bomb is 319, we'll report crossing loud. 1000 feet. Put some power in there. Just put about 23. Oh, we can hurry up because we're low right now. Yeah.
All right, there's her runway. Yeah. That the runway is uh, is pretty empty. Yeah. Yeah, one that departed. He's way above you. Looks like he's over to the uh, to the east side of the airport. Yeah. All right, we can put some flaps in. Yeah. Yeah, you can see you got a lot to go through your first taxiway. Yeah. It looks like that's uh, taxiway Bravo and Hotel. What was it? Is 80? Wait, 100 knots, 90 knots for the second notch of flaps? 105 for the 110 for the first. Yeah. All right, so he's pulled back a little bit here. He's getting a white. And you can start putting your flaps in. Yeah. Once you're in a white, pull full flaps. All right, 500 feet above ground. Yeah, the wind's real calm. Doesn't yeah. feel like it. Yeah. All right, there's 70. Nice, stable approach. There you go. I thought they had pappies or some bat bassies or something. All right, they are on top of each other. I can't see it. Yeah, neither do I. There's the wind. The wind looks like it's coming straight from the right side, but it looks pretty light. Yeah. What's your touchdown point? Uh, thousand foot markers. Roger. I think I'm a little. Palmer 309, about 7,000. Palmer 319, descend and maintain 2,000, report free board and site for the visual. Alright, descend and maintain 2,000, report free board and site for the visual, Palmer 319. Alright, Sky 451, say distance up. and altitude. Just keep it right there on ground, okay, pull up some more. There you go, down center line. Roger, traffic opposite direction, ATR 46, 32 miles, descending out of 7,000. Welcome to the bottom. Street 19 or traffic All opposite right. direction, south 340, up, right. 8 miles southeast, southeast bound, passing 5.2 for 11.5. Traffic on 3 times, bottom of Street 19. Five three five nine kilo exit right at Bravo. Taxi parking and customs at General Aviation via Taxi Bay Hotel. All right, right on Bravo and then hotel back to customs. Uh, five three five nine kilo. Good day. Should be the first one coming up right now. We got the uh, yellow sign. Just follow the yellow line. Yeah. All right. So this is Bravo. Then quickly it becomes Hotel. So hotel is that way. It's only the only one really. Heading okay. back to uh, Betty Guy home. What's that? Oh, yeah, I'm taking a right. Yeah, making a right this way. Just shut off everything. Bacon is still on. 345 for the visual, Bomber 319. Bomber 319, or Roger. Cleared visual approach, runway 6, center right base, descend 1600, contact tower 1185. All right, enter right base, and clear for the visual 6, tower 1185, Bomber 319, good morning. I don't know where Customs is, but I guess we're about to find out. Uh, yeah, I, I looked it up. Yeah, but this isn't sure where it is. Yeah. I think it's over there, straight. I think that little green rooftop over there. Yeah. I think he's either, that's, I know I went online real quick just to get more familiar with this place. I'm pretty sure where the Aztec is, that's probably where we gotta go to. Yeah. I should say, though, pretty big, usually, at least. Yeah. 
Looks like there's a bunch of GA over here. 